Good evening, YouTube. This is Mr. David Pope, and this is a response video to Voter 616, and I immediately apologize if I butchered that channel name. Uh, I like Voter. He's, uh, he comes from Denmark, which is this, uh, country right here, just north of Germany, and south of Norway and Sweden. The flag over here is this red and white number over here on the side of the map. I know, I know, it's kind of weird, but well, I'm a history teacher. There's a reason why I use a world map as a backdrop of these videos. Now, earlier today he posted a video where he pretty much went on, to, went on a rant about uh, Phil Donahue, the president of the so-called uh, Catholic League of America. And, of course, as most people know, he's incredibly bigoted and homophobic and uh, uh, misogynistic and of course a lot of people don't like that and that's pretty much the rant that Volker went on. Uh, I'm talking about how Mr. Donahue wants to censor people and the question that Volker asked and of course the link is going to be in the description box below is if Volker as an atheist is allowed to say that he is offended by Phil Donahue who would he then be allowed to censor him back? Now, I appreciate the, the fact that guys like Voter criticize religion. There's nothing wrong with criticism, especially something that's as big and important, has such an influence in people's lives as religion. The problem that I see it, and no disrespect to, to Voter or anybody else on YouTube, is that you tend to use this fairly wide brush to talk about religion. You, you simply paint this label on people, oh, you're religious, there's that wide sweeping brush, I'm just going to say a whole bunch of nasty things about you. And I, I want you to take a, a step back just a little bit and realize that, well, I criticize religion too as a whole point in my Literally Joshua Literally Judges series is the criticism of religion. But we have to be careful when we realize that a lot of our friends, a lot of our family members are fairly devoutly religious people and are using their religious beliefs in order to try to make a positive change in society around them. And it really isn't fair to put them all in the same category and paint them all by, with the same wide brush. Uh, just think about it that you wouldn't want somebody to do that to you. You wouldn't want somebody to take all atheists, all agnostics, all non-theists, and put them all into one category and paint them all with a wide brush. Well, it just wouldn't be fair. Especially when they start using Godwin's Law and say, well, you're, you're all Hitler and Mao and, and Stalin and all the rest of the people, they were all atheists. Well, first of all, that isn't true. But you also see that it isn't fair. Why are you comparing somebody who's actually trying to do something positive with all of these uh, negative connotations? And the problem is, in our criticisms of religion, we fall into that exact same trap. And do that. Just, just bear in mind what, how you would want people to treat you. Uh, how you would want people to respect your viewpoints, uh, your lack of religion, as it were, as an atheist. And try to have that same respect for people that are, that are around you. I'm even going to go ahead and give you the benefit of the doubt that that probably is something that you try to do, that you actually do try to uh, have respect and tolerance for other people. But you accidentally fell into that trap. And it, it tends to be bad. Once again, I love your videos, though. I love Volker's video, especially he's just started the series where he's talking about his life, he's talking about his early childhood, he's talking about how he came about uh, uh, becoming an atheist. I've started something like that myself, and I haven't even recorded one of those videos in several months. I really need to get back to it, because some of my friends, some of my family members have even asked that very same question. Uh, I used to be a licensed Baptist minister. Just a few years ago, I was talking about Jesus, and now I'm talking about atheism. You know, what's up with that? And, well, I 
hope to answer some of those questions about what uh, happened in my own life, just as Folkter is doing in his own video series in this wonderful series. He has a, he has, definitely has a, a backstory that's fairly interesting. And I look forward to hearing what else he has to say about his life. Especially since it's history. I'm learning something. <laughs> and this is a, any information that I can, I can use to, to, Maybe taken inside the classroom and teach to my own future students is something that I'm going to like to watch. So, Volker, I, I want you to keep up the good work, but, but remember, let's, let's try to avoid that wide paintbrush when it comes to talking about other people's beliefs. Okay. Keep up the good work. Thank you for watching.